How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hmm. Um, let's see. This one is another movie review. I'm sorry I didn't show you the picture, but I don't feel like going through all that. But this is a movie review for Final, the Final Destination. They should have called this the first destination because this sure wasn't the final. First of all, this movie was unjustified. Like, you all know how all the other movies, all the other Final Destinations, one moment. Let me show you how big a movie buff I am. Yes, I own them all. Now, let's go through them. Final Destination 1, they were on a plane. He saw a vision, they got off. Everything that happened after that when they all started dying was justified. Final Destination 2, they were in traffic. Everything that happened after that was all justified. Final Destination 3, they all were on the roller coaster. Everything was justified. The Final Destination or Final Destination 4, not justified at all. First of all, in any of these movies, when did you see them see stuff moving like by itself without no type of explainable force? Even if you know the force wasn't that strong, it was explainable. Like, yeah, that little bit of wind moved that big cart. No, I'm sorry. First of all, the thing that got me, firstly, I was with the movie because he had a vision or whatever. Even though it wasn't as drawn out and ex as explained as it could have been, he had a vision or whatever. So we went with that. So then, as things started happening, he saved them from the racetrack. And he saw the vision and da 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 da. And the screwdriver caused the big old incident. It looked like a Phillips. That was a timer for my food. But, um, yeah. So then, um, there, this woman was at the beauty shop or the salon, whatever you want to call it. And this can of, um, what's it called? Like, air, the hairspray or whatever? It just started moving across the table by itself. Wasn't no wind, wasn't no water to make it slide, and the table was uneven where it tilted. Wasn't none of that. It just started sliding with no force, no explainable force to, to say why it did that. And everything else was explainable. It was explainable, explainable, pause, explainable, but it was explainable. But it. Nothing, why would this can move across the table and just so happen to fit directly in the, the I think it's a hair flat iron or a straightener, whatever you want to call it. The thing that straightens your hair, yeah. It just fit directly in there. Then everything started going off. I was with it because the fan was loose. The fan that was on the ceiling, it was loose. It was twirling, it was wobbling, and it was about to fall. I was with that. It was justified. The um, can moving across the table, not justified. So then I was thinking like, okay, that's the first unjustified thing. Then they were at, oh, this is the one that got me. Um, they were at the, no, I don't remember the character's name, so you just don't have to go see it. But this guy, his girlfriend and the best friend, they were all part of the people that got uh, rescued from the racetrack incident. Um, the two females were at the movie theater and they were watching some strange movie, I don't know, where in the background, at, when the explosion happened in the movie, the background, something was supposed to explode back there because it was fire. Now, y'all know the sanitation carts, like for the people that go to King, those janitors, those big carts on wheels that they push around, and y'all know the fans, the, you know, the fans that, um, that supposed to cool the gym off, that like when you yell into it, your voice get all cracked up and you like yelling into it just for the fun of it. Tell me how this fan move this cart. First of all, the fans in the gym, when they come off the gym, make noise to let you know there was power or force behind it. This fan made no noise. It put, But it pushed this whole cart, garbage full, all type of can, aerosol cans, everything else, on there. And it just somehow happened to push the cart all the way across the floor over something that had to have been about this high, just over it. And I, first of all, a fan, I can understand if the fan pushed it, but the fan can't, is not strong enough to push that cart over that. It would need some type of additional force. But was there an additional force? Hmm. No, it wasn't. Now see, I was going to say, my movie reviews, I'm not really reviewing them. I'm just giving you a synopsis of about it. Of about it. Of about it. <laughs> I'm just giving you a synopsis of it. So... We're going to start reviewing movies, and I've come up with my own system. Now, it's either play it, 
pause it, or eject it. Now, if I say play it, that means it's a good movie. You need to play it. You need to pay attention to it. When I say pause it, that means you need to go get your cell phone, go get your food or whatever, go get a snack. So you you won't have enough. To, you won't be paying attention to it as well. So it'll seem as though it's a good movie. That way you get distracted. You know, when it's not that good of a movie, you don't need to be fully paying attention to it. <laughs> hmm. And the last one, ejected. That should pretty much be self-explanatory. That thumbs down. Hated it. No. That means we don't like it. That means it was not a good movie. That means we want to eject it. But this movie, I say pause it. Go get your snack. Go get your um, phone. Send a text message. Get on the internet. Check your messages on Facebook. Start a Facebook chat. Do whatever you got to do. Check an email or whatever. Um, look at this video while you're watching the movie. Um, something. Because this, if you pay attention to it, you're going to see it. But see, I was trying to hold out. I just thought about this. I was trying, I remembered it. I was trying not to say this. I found some hidden, hidden, hidden racism, racism, racism in this movie. Because first of all, there was one black guy, you know, the token black guy. Hmm. One black guy. Now, he was supposedly, he was supposed to be the, why he, first of all, why he got to be the preacher. Hmm. But you know, we're not going to, we're going we gonna to stay off that part because it wasn't as big. Now, he was trying to kill himself because he was on the chain list or the, le you know, the list of how they're supposed to die or whatever in order. He was next on the list. Now, he tried killing himself. Why is it that the next round, he tried a couple of ways and failed. Why is it that he tried to kill himself with the noose, huh? Why? why? What, what's, what y'all saying? Y'all trying to go back to slavery, huh? Is it because we black? So, I'm like, okay, you know what? He want to kill himself with the noose? All right. Racism. Racism. It's because we, matter of fact, you know what? I can't say that on this camera. It's because we black. I have another way of saying that, but I'm not going to say it for legal purposes. Hmm. And then secondly, the next, it was one other racial thing that I found out, no, that I noticed in this movie. Um, what did I notice? What else did I notice in this movie? Okay, I'm losing my thought. Uh, he hung himself with the noose and then... Oh, why was the white guy, this drunk white trash, trailer park trash man, trying to burn a cross on his lawn? Hmm. Hmm. That's why you died. That's why you died. Um. It was one other point that I wanted to cover, and I'm forgetting it. Um. Okay. So. Blah 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 blah. He died. He died. He died. Uh huh. You know what? I don't remember the point. Um, I really don't remember that point. So, I don't remember the point. So, yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. But yeah, you all know my rating system. So now when I come at you with a movie review, it'll either be play it, pause it, or eject it. And you'll get information about it. I'll try and make it a detailed synopsis. And occasionally, I'll probably give away the plot and what happens. So I advise you to watch these movie reviews at your own risk or at your own peril. If you don't want the movie ruined, then don't run the risk of it being ruined by moi. So um, I think that's it. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. It's hot, and I just didn't feel like turning on the lights. And we got a snowstorm advisory. Right. I wish I'd show y'all the window, but it ain't no point because ain't nothing gonna happen. Because they went through this whole snow advisory crap before and did nothing happen. But yeah, um, I think that's about it. And I'm done.